All right, shout out one, shout out one, shout out one. Before I get started, as always, I would love to say, call all your have a Baha Shem, you have a Shai Baha Shem, Rick Hard Quidaj, the Barnes to the Elves and the Apostles, a great millstone. And shout out one to the, to the Hopeful Lake, and shout out one, the, the Heavenly Father name is Yahweh, who the, who the world inwardly calls a uh, God. He has many titles, but only one name. Yahweh means He exists, He is that He is. His eyes is 10,000 times brighter, brighter than the sun, technically infinite. He's everywhere. You cannot escape your house. All right? And of course, the, the Heavenly Father's son name, who the world it really calls Jesus Christ, his son name is Yahawashai. All right? Yahawashai means he is the Savior or he is the Deliverer. Same exact thing. And Yahawashai is coming back for the elect of the nation of Israel. He's going to save the elect of the nation of Israel. Now, the question is, who are the Hebrew Israelites? The sons of God, Prince of Power, Yashar Allah. They are the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians and the Israelite foreigners that look like the other, the other nations because you are according to the seat of your father whenever you read the book of Numbers chapter 1, all right? So let's get into some scriptures, all right? Let's start off in the Christ of chapter 33, verse 2. It says, a wise man hated not the law. Yeah, that's right. So only a wise man will want to know the law. Only a wise man will want to understand the Lord. Only a wise man will want to know his inheritance. Only a wise man will, will want to know the true name of the Lord. That way, uh, a wise man will be able to call upon that name, which will make you what say it. All right, because the scriptures speak about there's no other name under heaven. There's no name under heaven. No other name where men must be saved. And that's your by Hashem al You must know that name in order to be saved from blank period. And that name was only given to the elect to not only speak it and say it, but to believe in it and what to have faith in it. Yahweh Shai is the comforter. He's here right now with us. But only the elect who walk after the spirit and not the flesh can understand that. If you walk after the flesh, if 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 uh, you walk carnally, you cannot understand spiritual things, which means you have absolutely no faith. Point blank. Period. Self-explanatory as well. All right. So again, I just now read the scripture that a wise man hate not the law. We love to uh, understand how can we be saved because we don't want to die and feel missiles. We want to learn how to know or escape. The discussion. We want to learn how that Jeremiah went through what he went through. We want to learn how did these great men endure endure the fiery uh, the uh, fiery trials. We want to understand the law so we can understand how can we escape damnation. We want to know the name of the Lord because that's the only thing that's going to save you. Who you going to call on? That's that's my question. Who, who's going to protect you when all hell break loose? That's another question. All right? So again, Ecclesiasticus, chapter 33, verse 2, a wise man hated not the law. But see, uh, a fool hate the law. A fool say that there is no God. A fool say he don't give a damn about serving the Lord. A fool put off day by day. All right? A fool say that the day of the Lord is for, is for many days to come, which means millions of years from now. But a wise man say, how can I be on the Lord's good side? A wise man want, want to know, how can I escape those missiles from raining? How can I escape famine? A fool, a wise man want to know how can I walk the right way? Because most people is walking the wrong way, all right? And see these laws, they don't save you, all right? Matter of fact, that's Romans. I'm going to get that too. But these laws, the law itself don't save you because the scriptures speak about in the land of our captivity, we rehearse the righteous acts. Because when you break one law, that means you're guilty of them all. So the question is, can you keep all laws? The answer is no. So if you break one, that means you're guilty of them all. 
but that don't mean that we make void the law. Matter of fact, let me get that. That don't mean that we make void the law. Let me get that real quick, and I'm gonna get right back where I was started it with. All right, and we gonna let the scripture speak it to prove my point. This is the book of Romans, chapter three, verse thirty-one. It says, "Do we?" It says, "Do we then make void the law through faith?" Yeah, how would I forbid? Yeah, we establish the law, and see that's the thing. We establish the law. We don't make void the law. We establish the law, even though the law it's, it itself can't save you. You have to have the whole nine. You have to have faith. You have to uh, put that work in. You have to have the whole nine. You have to be wholly acceptable. Here it is. You got uh, two degenerates that's going out, all right, promoting that. Hey. You can uh, 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 smoke weed and stuff like that. No, you can't do that. All right? But yes, guess what? They're making their body a, 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 a living sacrifice. Right? But you got to have, what, the whole nine. You got to have the whole list check mark. 100%, not 99.9, .9, but 100%. The whole list. All right? We have a, a, a what to do list. And you have to pass every last one of them. And just because what you made your body a living sacrifice, that don't mean nothing. Because uh, hundreds, hundreds of people have made their body a living sacrifice. But guess what? There's an X on the rest of the blocks that they fail miserably. When it comes to being holy, X. When it comes to being separate, uh, uh, acceptable X when it comes to being a sacrifice. Okay, yeah, they passed that, but guess what? They didn't endure. That's that's another X. So did they fully uh made anybody a living sacrifice? Yes, because they came out, but they didn't endure. No, put an X on that block. Just because you made your body a, li a living sacrifice, that don't mean nothing. All right. So we want to know, hey. I want to know, a wise man want to know the law. How, how can I be saved? The scriptures speak about what you must endure until the end. Alright? So now let's finish this scripture off. Ecclesiastes chapter 33 verse 2, it says, A wise man hated not the law, but he that is an hypocrite, therein is a ship in a storm. So a man that's a hypocrite, is as a ship in a storm and I want to pause this real quick because I want to read this article that I found it came out today May 31st alright and I want to get this article real quick even though it's off topic but I just I just want to read it real quick that I found I had screenshot it uh, this is what I screenshot it Alright. It says Biden's clean and green push will result in blackouts and bankruptcy for America. Biden's energy plan will create problems and huge calls for America, especially a hey, up the price on everything and create problems. Alright. Just a little something, you know. By uh, Rick Perry, Fox News. Let me go ahead and delete that screen. I just had want to share that real quick before I forget. So let's get back into the lesson. Alright, so I, I, I'm going to read the scripture again. Alright. Because see, that, that article that I just read, that's going to lead to the MOTB anyway. That's why I wanted to read it. Because that's going to lead to the MOTB. Alright. It's the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 33, verse 2. It says, A wise man hated not the law, but he that is an hypocrite. And a hypocrite is an act of a, 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 a fake. It says, But he that is an hypocrite, therein is as a ship in a storm. So you is like a ship in a storm. Alright? A ship in a storm is soon to be shipwrecked. Now, let me play with it like this. I don't care if you is a captain. Now, what do I mean by captain? The leader. Alright? The 
head of a church, the head of a organization. If I'm saying the word right, if you is the captain, if you steering the wheel, if you is a passion or a cook, you see, or you may be uh uh let me see uh wherever wherever your situation is, guess what? As long as you own that ship, you is gonna drown. You is gonna be in a uh, shipwreck, and, 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 and guess what's gonna happen to you? You is gonna drown. All right. So a hypocrite is like a ship in a storm. All right. So if you call yourself a uh, Hebrew Israelite, but you is a sellout, right? You can't help but to teach your followers how to sell out. And that's something that you cannot argue. But if you is real and if you is legit, you can't help but teach your followers how to be real and how to be legit. And that's something else that you can't argue right there. So, so as the king, so as people, so as the leaders, so as his followers, if you real, they real. If you don't play that, they don't play that. All right? If you is lame, they, they lame. If you chase ass all the time, they chase the ass all the time. If you let the ass chase you, they gonna let the ass chase you. Well, they gonna let the ass chase them. So as the leaders, so as the followers. All right? If you have a king mentality, you, your leaders, I mean, your followers is going to have a keen mentality. If you a simp, your followers is going to be a simp. Alright? Yo, them niggas be making the noise for no damn reason. They're going to wait till they get right beside me. Alright? It's all good. Let me go right back. We gonna read this here one more time. Ecclesiastes chapter 33 verse 2. Then I'm gonna get a precept too. Cause that, you know what I'm saying, to and fro, that just came into mind. Let me read this again. It says, but he, it is an hypocrite. Therein is as a ship in a storm. So you is like a ship in a storm. All right? Whatever your position is on that ship, it don't matter. It's gonna wreck. And you, you can brag about having the best ship ever. All right? Having uh, 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 20,000 people in your camp, in your group. That don't mean nothing. The Lord will wreck that ship. Don't forget about the Titanic. All right? They, they, they guess what? They brag about the Titanic. And guess what? The, the Lord had what? Sank that shit. Shipwreck. Bye. All right? So now, let me get this um, real quick. Because the elect is not a ship in a storm. That ship also represents what your foundation. Alright? And our foundation is not built upon sand. That's another precept. I ain't going to get that. But everybody else, they build their foundation on sand. You're supposed to never build your foundation on sand. You have to build your foundation on solid, a rock, all right? Not no sand. But anyway, I was referring to the house of David, if you caught that or not, all right? Now let me get this piece up. Uh, this is the book of... Uh, It's the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 14. It says that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro. See, we is not a ship in a storm being tossed to and fro with every man of doctrine. Because now you have men that's waxing worse and being deceived and deceiving them own selves. Just like this individual, this bug out, talking about something you can smoke weed, go ahead and blow it, light it up. 
This man is deceiving his own self and deceiving the man that's following him. But what they fail to understand is that they is a blind leader of a blind, uh, uh, let me say it like this. They, they is a blind leader that's leading two thirds to, to death and what destruction. So you was a blind leader of the blind. That's why I want to say you was a blind leader of the blind. All right? Ain't no curtains for you to open to let the sun come in, all right? You is you, you you is the dry bone, all right? In the valley of the shadow of death. There, that's you. Still dead. A, a, a damn dead man walking. All right? And leading Israel to the slaughter. If you you was coming out here leading all people the wrong way, you was playing a very dangerous game. Just keep that in mind. Telling all people that they can what smoke is not a good sign. Alright? You was a bad sign. And you need to repent from that. Bitch, you is not gonna do that. Alright, because you must have false prophets set up to lead the blind to the to the slaughter. Let me uh, get this again. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 14 that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro because when we was in the world, we was tossed to and fro. Alright? We was tossed to and fro before we knew the Lord. I'm trying to learn this. Diving into this. Studying this. Looking up magic and voodoo and dark magic, black magic. Right? Voodoo and all kind of shit. Christianity, Muslim, 5%. Roman Catholic, whatever the case may be. Atheist. Hell, I said I didn't believe. Hell, when I was in the world, I said, my, my thing was, I believe in God, but I don't believe in the Bible. And the reason why I didn't believe in the Bible was because I thought it was a white man's book. But when I learned that, we are the people in the Bible. That's when I was like, oh, shit. Even when I try to read the Bible, I couldn't do it because the Lord did not open up my understanding. You see? So we was once lost in the world, every last one of us. But guess what? The Lord woke us up. So we, so now we're not diving into this, into that, thinking that it's the way. That's not the way to go. Getting tattoos and all that shit. Nah, man, you don't, you don't supposed to get tattoos, you know. I almost got a tattoo, but I ain't got one, no. Thank you, Lord. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, you don't supposed to do none of that stuff. So anyway, we are not tossed to and fro with every man of doctrine. Right? But it's going to go into it. It's going to go into it. And I'm going to break it down. Back in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 14, it says that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carry about with every man of doctrine the scripture says and carry about with every man of doctrine you would hear something stupid and be like man that sounds great no nah, man that sounds stupid here it is you got two uh, you got two Muslims talking and they amazed at what one another saying but you know damn well they sound stupid as fuck. Alright? Here it is, you got two atheist niggas talking. Now you see, if God was real, why are we suffering? Yeah, man, you right. Two dumbass niggas. Alright? See, they is carry a lot with every man adoption. Being an atheist is adoption as well. God ain't real over oh, yeah. here. Okay, well then save yourself from being, um, uh, 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 save yourself from famine. Save yourself from going to jail. Nigga, you can't save yourself from you. You make wrong decisions all the time. You can't even save yourself. All right? You can't save yourself from something. But you as a God. Boy, sit your ass down. All right? You can't save yourself from eating the poison, from getting food poison, from getting a foot in your ass. Sit your ass down. A lot of y'all need to sit your goddamn ass down. 
You can't say yourself I'm making the wrong decisions every single day. <laughs> right? But yeah, you got Sit show ass down. It says carry about with every it says that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carry about with, with, with every man of doctrine by the slight of man and cunning craftiness all right whereby they lie and wait to deceive so you got men that set up that's deceiving you on purpose because they is hiring in the care now for the sheep these men job is set up to lead you the wrong way and they don't care about you they is a hireling they care not for the sheep the sheep of what? the sheep of the lord and their job is simple lead your ass the wrong way and guess what if you follow them they're gonna lead you straight to the slaughter all right they don't care but a wise man say, hey, I'm not going to follow no fool. All right? Matter of fact, because uh, you got men that set up that said, that, hey, take the MOTB. Take the RF to the, you know what, ID to the Xbox, Microsoft, Microchip. All right? Which is the MOTB. All right, we got men set up talking about some calling themselves Israelites, saying that you can take that. They tell you to take that J to the A to the B to take the devil's potion, and they ain't telling you how many people that they know that was a part of their congregation that would drop dead. They ain't gonna tell you all that. Walk around with a damn thermometer, a damn temperature. <laughs> all right. Their job is to lead you the wrong way. Their job is to tell you to join hand in hand, to be a part of the system. Any man that tells you to bend the knee to eat him is telling you to join hand in hand with the enemy, matter of fact. Let's get that. Because they're basically telling you to join hand in hand with the enemy and you ain't supposed to do that this is the book of proverbs chapter 11 verse 21 it says stow hand join in hand the wicked shall not be unpunished but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered yeah that's right you won't be delivered because you join hand in hand you decide to join the system but the elect say, oh, hell no, I ain't doing that shit. So because you want to sit there and get the MOTB, ain't got the audacity to say, ain't got the audacity to say that you can take the chip in your right hand or in your forehead and still repent. Nigga, what? Hell no, you can't. How the hell can you... You don't even know the Bible. The Bible say that once you accept this man, Mark, you can't repent from that. You made this man your, your power, basically. You can't repent from that. You see? You is now a part of the system. You have officially joined hand in hand. It's too late. It's too late to apologize. All right? So let me read this again. Proverbs chapter 11 verse 21. It says, Though hand joined in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. You will not be unpunished. Alright? And Edom, he's going to go down. He's going to go down. Alright? And see, he think he's going to fight, but he ain't going to fight shit. Hey. 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 
I mean, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, come back. What time it is? Okay, I got a little bit of time. I mean, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, come back. He going to make him attempt to fight him. He going to beat him just by looking at him. Just by looking at him. Cook them all with them laser beams. All right? It's coming out of his mouth. It's the chariot, the mouth of the chariot. That's where the laser beams going to come out, so-called UFOs. All right? Anyway, let me finish it off, and I'm going to leave. Uh, Proverbs chapter 11 verse 21 it says Though hand join in hand the wicked shall not be unpunished But the seed of the <coughs> But the seed of the righteous Shall be delivered So if you take that mark The, the MOTB in your right hand or, or in your forehead You just gonna be the fucking destroyed Alright If you bow the knee to the image of the beast Which is the, which is the system The new world you know what Alright talk to me Order that means you worship the image of the beast. That's the system. You will be destroyed, point blank, period. Right? But if you fight against it and say, I got faith in the Lord, you have a Bahashem, you shy, you will be delivered 100% of the time. But if you call it on Jesus Christ, or hey Zeus, whatever the hell the fuck you call that damn demon, you will be destroyed because the elect will not call on no name. Right? But you have a Bahashem, you have a all right, so I'm going to go ahead and head back to work. Hopefully it is, uh, what day it is? Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. Hopefully it is Wednesday, May 31st. Camp Nelson was there to find. I'm going to end up by saying, call on Yahweh by Hashem. I'm going to say, by Ruka Kodash. The Bonnet Studios and the Pops of Great Millstone. And Shalom to the hopeful elect. Shalom. Shalom.